On January the 11th, 2011, the first flight of J-20 was successful, and in these 14 years, J-20 has brought surprises to military fans, every time from test flights to the installation of combat troops, and from the public debut at the Zhuhai Air Show to the replacement of domestically produced engines. With the rapid progress of China's technological strength, today's J-20 has become less advanced in the eyes of Chinese military fans. On January the 11th, 2025, CCTV made a special report on J-20 on the day of the 14th anniversary of J-20's first flight and very rarely announced part of J-20's performance. The CCTV program revealed that J-20 has strong stealth, maneuvering and perception capabilities, and when performing combat missions, J-20 will play the role of a strong node of information, fusing the information acquired by ground, air and sea command nodes to form a complete air combat posture which will then be distributed to other air combat units, commanding them to complete the air control or assault mission. From the official introduction, it can be seen that J-20 not only has strong single aircraft combat capability, but also has the ability of battlefield commander. With strong battlefield perception and information processing capability, it can not only master the information of the whole battlefield, but also be able to send the information to the friendlies in need to enhance the combat capability of the friendlies, which is a force multiplier. It is a force multiplier. In the past, the role of the commander was generally played by the AWACS, but the early warning aircraft in the face of enemy attacks is extremely vulnerable, usually can only be deployed in the back of the safety of the command, is equivalent to the ground battlefield division, responsible for the overall command of the entire combat airspace. But the battlefield can not only division, but also need the frontline command center so as to make the most rapid response to the unexpected situation, and at the same time reduce the division command pressure. What J-20 plays is the role of frontline command center. In the past, due to the limitation of technical conditions, tactical airplanes carry limited performance of avionics equipment, which can't deal with complex battlefield information and don't have the ability to send the information quickly and accurately to friendly airplanes. So they can only passively accept the information guidance from AWACS to improve the efficiency of combat. But J-20 was born in a good time. With the advantage of Lotcomer, J-20 is equipped with the most advanced processors and sensors, able to collect battlefield information by means of radar, photoelectricity, data chain, etc., and become a small early warning aircraft and strong note of information on the battlefield. As long as J-20 is there, it will be very difficult for the enemy to destroy our air command network. Even if the enemy is lucky to knock down our early warning aircraft, J-20 can still be responsible for command in the local airspace, and several J-20s can be scattered to form a complete air command network, so that our combat units will not become blind. At present, only the American F-35 fighter jet has similar function with J-20, but J-20 is more high-end compared to F-35 because J-20 is a heavy fighter with longer lag time, faster speed, and able to provide more sufficient power for electronic equipment. Moreover, the J-20 has a two-seat model, which further enhances the operational command efficiency of the J-20, like the F-22 such as the fifth-generation fighter, although has a strong single performance but cannot be used as a frontline command post. Most of the cases can only fight alone. The F-22 plays the role of soldiers. J-20 plays the role of generals. The F-22 plays the role of a soldier, while the J-20 plays the role of a general. Some soldiers may have more powerful combat power than generals, but they don't have the commanding ability of generals. When J-20 first appeared, the biggest skepticism from the outside world about J-20 was that China was unable to equip J-20 with an advanced engine, resulting in J-20 not being able to meet the standard of a fifth-generation aircraft. Early J-20 does have the problem of lack of high-performance engine. J-20 officially set up a research and development project around 2008. At this time, China's turbofan 10 engine is still not perfect. The first batch of turbofan 10 equipped J-11B fighters exposed a large number of use problems and even had in the air spraying parts resulting in the J-11B was once backlogged in the factory because of the lack of engine. In 1998, when the J-10 first flew, it used the Russian L-31 engine, and in 2011, when the J-20 first flew, it still used the Russian L-31 engine, which also shows that compared with the rapid progress of the fighter jet, China's aviation engine progress is indeed lagging behind. L-31 is Su-27 standard engine, the maximum accelerated thrust of more than 12 tons, the thrust-to-weight ratio of nearly 8. 
is a very good performance turbofan engine, but compared with the F22 F119 engine, L31 is not enough to see. The maximum added thrust than the F119 is about 3 tons less than the two together is less than 6 tons of maximum thrust. The F22 with the F119 engine is able to cruise at about Mach 1.5, but the Su-27 with 2L31 S can only cruise at high subsonic speeds. Because the Su-27 with L31 can't cruise at supersonic speeds, many people believe that the J-20, which also uses L31, can't cruise at supersonic speeds and can't be considered a fifth-generation fighter, but this is not difficult to defeat the Chinese researchers. J-20 adopts the world's unique aerodynamic layout, the duck wing, the edge of the wing and the lifting body cleverly fused together, to a certain extent, to realize the fish and bear the bear's paw. In the past, if the engine performance is insufficient, fighter jets often can only make trade-offs in the supersonic and subsonic. Either supersonic performance is good, but subsonic performance is poor, such as J-8, F-104, or subsonic maneuverability is strong, but the supersonic performance is poor, such as the F-5, F-16, even Su-27 and F-15, but only to ensure maneuverability, as far as possible to optimize supersonic performance cannot do everything. Even the Su-27 and F-15 only optimize supersonic performance as much as possible while maintaining maneuverability and can't do everything. Only the F-22 has been able to achieve both subsonic maneuvering and supersonic performance with the powerful F-119 engine. The F-22 has the maneuvering performance and overstall maneuvering capability of most fourth-generation aircraft, and the supersonic flight performance that exceeds that of most fighters and its supersonic maneuvering capability is even more unique, capable of maneuvering at supersonic speed with a 6G overload, unlike the old fighters before it, which had a supersonic performance of 6G overload. Before the old fighters, the supersonic maneuvering slightly larger, there is a risk of disintegration. J-20, however, breaks the routine, by virtue of the advantages of low supersonic leveling drag and low surge drag brought by the duck wing, Together with the lift coefficient advantage of the lifting body layout, J-20 has a strong supersonic performance, and the subsonic maneuverability is also very good, even if the use of the L-31 engine, the supersonic performance of the J-20 is still stronger than the Su-27 by more than one chip. When PLA pilots were interviewed, they disclosed that as long as they enter the supersonic speed, it is the world of J-20. This shows that J-20, whether it is cruising speed or supersonic maneuverability, is much stronger than Su-27 and Su-30, which also use L-31. Even if there is still a certain gap compared to F-22, the gap will not be too wide, and it is completely within the range of tactics and pilot skills that can be compensated. And wait until the J-20 replacement turbofan 15 engine, the situation is completely different. Only using L-31 J-20, comprehensive flight performance is already close to the F-22. After the replacement of the turbofan 15 performance and F-119 engine level, naturally will be significantly ahead. However, from the officially announced information, the performance of turbofan 15 is actually more than expected, not only reached the level of F-119, but also completed beyond. In the recently held Aviation Society of China Pilot Forum, the official announcement of a key model of military engines and the US F-119 engine performance comparison charts from the introduction can be seen. Turbofan 15 high altitude high speed performance and F-119 comparable to the low altitude right boundary envelope is completely more than the F-119 has been criticized as quasi-turbocharged in the past. The F-119 has been criticized as quasi-turbocharged in the past. The F-119 has been criticized as a quasi-scrolljet engine in the past because of its excessive reduction of the function ratio to increase the maximum thrust at high altitude, resulting in a lower engine fuel supply at low and medium altitude, sacrificing part of the performance. On the other hand, the turbofan 15 has completely solved the problem of oscillation at Mach number at low and medium altitude, and the engine is able to supply fuel stably, and the thrust is guaranteed. The turbofan 15 adopts a completely different technology path from that of the F-119, Realizing a wider combustion stabilization work envelope, this means that the J-20 with turbofan 15 engine, with the dual support of duck wing and advanced engine, the high altitude and high speed performance will be more than F-22, and the medium and low altitude flight performance will also be better than F-22 in this way, 
the flight quality of the J-20 is completely superior to F-22 in terms of range. The F-22, which is famous for its short legs, is even more incapable of comparing with the J-20 in terms of weaponry. The J-20 uses the Thunderbolt 15 far superior air-to-air -air missile, which also has a significant range advantage over the AIM-120 used by the F-22. The U.S. rolled over in the field of fifth-generation aircraft more because of a strategic miscalculation that led to the early closure of the F-22 production line and pressed its treasure on the pursuit of a comprehensive F-35. Now that the U.S. has come back to its senses, the U.S. sixth-generation fighter, surely, is an aircraft slated to perform combat missions in the Asia-Pacific, not a short-legged one like the F-22. The face of the United States gradually put away the arrogance of the United States. China in the field of sixth-generation fighter is still far from resting on its laurels. The United States, after all, has a deep fighter design background, as long as the willingness to quietly study, to get a strong performance of the sixth generation of fighters, it will not be too difficult to do.